What's a bad memory? Think of a bad memory from your past. A bad memory is an illusion. All memories that you and I have, they're just all illusions. They do not exist. They only exist in our unconscious mind or in our brain. We've got these stored memories. And every memory that you and I have is composed of five things or more, but five for now. You know, what you see, hear, feel, smell, and taste. That composes every memory you've ever had. If I say, can you remember your first bike? What did your first bike look like? Probably pretty much 95% of you will be able to go, yeah, I had a, this is my first bike. It was a Melvin Star, or it was, a, you know, it was pink, or it was orange, or it was black, BMX, or it had those little tassels on the handlebars, or it was like a chopper. Pretty much everyone will be able to remember, remember what their first bike looked like. Yeah, I, I do, and, and why? And that's all hidden in your unconscious mind, and that's just a memory. Now, the thing with when we have traumatic mem memories, bad memories, it's possible to actually go back and change those memories to become good ones. Yeah, believe it or not, it's possible to go back and change those bad memories to become good ones. Where your worst enemy became your friend, where you got in the fight, you lost, and you won. Where you had a bad experience with your parents, and it was actually became a positive experience. When your mum and dad didn't love you, and your mum and dad actually did love you, you could actually go back and change all memories like that. And I didn't believe this until probably about six to twelve months ago when I was studying. You know, I kind of like came across this therapist who was working in this stuff, and I was like, wow. I never knew you could just change those emotions. Not only can you resolve and, and bring those hurt emotions to a neutral place, you can actually go back those hurt memories to a neutral place where you're kind of at peace with it. You can actually go and flip it so it becomes a positive memory. So when you look back and you remember that event, it's different. It's actually positive. It becomes a positive experience. And, and that way, think of how that impacts your life when you've only got positive memories in your past. The now becomes extremely pleasurable and exciting and peaceful and loving because you're like, you know, you just, you, instead of thinking that life is against you, instead of thinking that, that you, you know, you were born in the pit and you had to climb and get a ladder, to, you know, to climb out of the pit to get on a level, level starting field with everyone else, instead of having all those kind of memories, you get to a point where your memories are all serene and positive and you had the best mum and dad. Mum and dad really did love you and, and you know, had the best relatives and the best school experience and, you, and your mum and dad got you everything you wanted. It's possible to go back and change all those memories. It's so simple. It's so easy with the right people helping you. Because uh, again, how does this tie in? How is this possible? How can this be conceivable? Because your true self is love. Your, your true, the core of you is love, unconditional pure love. That's the core of who you are. That's your true yourself. Everything else, your name, your, you know, your driver's license, your passport, your nationality, your cop, it's possible to go back and change all those memories. It's so simple, it's so easy with the right people helping you. Because uh, again, how does this tie in? How is this possible? How can this be conceivable? Because your true self is love. Your, your true, the core of you is love, unconditional pure love. That's the core of who you are. That's your true yourself. Everything else, your name, your, you know, your driver's license, your passport, your nationality, your culture, your religious beliefs, that's all stuff that's put upon you. you know, your real true nature is love. You look at a baby, every baby that's born is pure, unconditional love. Yeah. And it's only what happens to that baby growing up which creates all the functional and dysfunctional aspects of that of a human being. So you, what I'm, my point here is that it's possible to go back and change every bad memory to be a positive one. If you were the biggest loser in school, you could have been the most popular person in school. It's all a matter of perception. It's all about, because when you go back and change stuff and you change the way you perceive things, you can go back and that bad memory can become positive because it you know the positive memory or the bad memory it's it's all uh, both an illusion it's just how whether you know one makes you feel more empowered or one makes you feel bad okay so yeah that's that's how you can do it you can actually go back and change bad memories to, to good memories which is what I do with people in my program so this is Roger from the Healing Warrior program have an awesome day you can hear life now have fun bye